Hello, I'm about to demonstrate the first seven settings that I highly recommend you change on your Canon R6. For those that are new to this channel, my name is Adam. I'm a professional photographer from the UK, currently living in Edinburgh, Scotland. A couple of the settings featured here are very important as the camera just won't function well without them. So stick around till the end and I'm sure you'll find this very helpful. Number one, the diopter. The diopter adjustment allows you to adjust the viewfinder focus. This way you can see a clear image that matches your eyesight. This is especially good if you wear glasses or contact lenses, but everyone should set this feature up when your camera arrives. Firstly, place your eye over the viewfinder and half press your shutter button to focus on an object. It helps here if you focus on something with some contrast. Then while keeping the camera in the same position, this helps if you use a tripod, turn the small dial on the side of the viewfinder back and forth until your image looks at its optimal sharpest. It's good to point out here that changing the diopter only affects the viewfinder sharpness, not the image itself. This will help you clearly focus on a subject the adjustment does not affect the sharpness or clarity of the images, just the viewfinder. Tip number two, the joystick. To get the joystick working, go to the orange menu, tab number three, custom buttons. Then use the large dial wheel to cycle through the options. The left hand side is custom buttons for still pictures. The right hand side is for video. Cycle down until you see the star shape for joystick. Push set and select direct AF point. Now you're up and running. Let's have a look at number three, IBIS image stabilization. The R6 is Canon's first ever camera body to feature in-body image stabilization. IBIS provides five axis image stabilization offering up to eight stops of compensation giving you the extra ability to shoot handheld and slower shutter speeds in low light situations. Since testing I found this absolutely fantastic and I'm really impressed by how the R6 is performing in low light. So let's make sure this is turned on. Go to the red camera menu tab 7 and select on. If you're using RF lenses with iBest turned on the R6 in-body stabilization is also turned on. Check the switch on the side of your lens. If not, go to red menu tab seven. Great, that's free down. Tip number four, copyright information. Although this is easy to add in editing software such as Lightroom, Capture One or Photoshop, it's always best to add this in the camera body also. That way, if you provide images that haven't been processed, your contact information will still be embedded within the file. To set this up, go to yellow tab five, copyright information. Enter your copyright details. Enter your full name here. In the metadata, this shows up in the copyright notice section. Under enter author's name, I'd like to add my phone number with a country dialing code. I do this for two reasons. You have your contact number set both in camera and within your images. Tip five, shoot to both memory card slots. I made a full video on this one. If you haven't seen this yet, feel free to watch my video, including the two step process. It's a bit long to feature here, but it's a quick two minute video if you'd like to set this up. The link is above here and in my description below. Tip number six, release shutter without card. This is a very important setting. Make sure it is turned off. You don't want to show up for a job and start shooting while hearing your shutter sound click thinking your images are saving, but really you have no card in the camera. The R6 will give you a warning in the viewfinder but it's easy to miss this if you're getting carried away and hearing the noise or the shutter. It happens. To turn this off, go to the red camera menu, tab six, release shutter without card. Turn to off.
Now, if there are no memory cards in your camera, you can't take a single picture. Your shutter won't make a single click. It's best to double check everything before you leave the house also. The final tip, number seven. Go to the yellow wrench tab number five and check your firmware is up to date. Simply type into Google Canon R6 firmware and check your version matches the number within your camera. If not, update your camera to the latest firmware. I'll show you the steps in a future video. Thanks for watching. If you found some value here, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. This really helps out my small YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.